Yeah, it's been difficult, but uh, I mean, I think we got to just put it behind us and then focus on this season and then uh, focus on making the change this season. Was that part of the inspiration for a lot of you guys, for, for a lot of the seniors coming back? Some of you guys could have left during the NFL draft and drafted yeah. fairly high. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't say that's the, like the only thing, but I mean, we. Uh, I mean, speaking for myself and uh, I think a couple of other guys, I think all of us come back to uh, win every game. So um, to win every game, you got to win those. And, um, and I think winning those games says a lot about you and your team and then uh, can uh, help you going on down the road in the season. There seems to be a lot of interest in this, in this class about what the, of establishing a legacy. Mm -hmm. That seems yeah. to be the case here. Yeah, I mean, because uh, we have a lot of talented guys on our team and we have a, we have a great coach and staff and I think... Uh, we have a uh, we have all the tools that are necessary to build a legacy, and I think that's what uh, a lot of us are trying to believe by the time we get here. So. Jake said that Ju has backed 100. percent What you doing in camp? You seeing it from him? Yeah, he's definitely back 100. percent You see that speed again, and uh, he's making plays and everything. So it's good to see him back out there. Good to have him out. So. Yeah. What's the competition like at that position? I mean, there are a lot of guys that want to play. And yeah, I mean, it's 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 a competition every day. Uh, all of us go out there try to make plays, and then. Uh, at the wide receiver spot, especially um, when you're out of practice, uh, if you make a big catch, it like changes the momentum of practice and everything. So that's what uh, Ju and I try to tell the younger guys, and they've uh, picked up, picked onto that, and then they've been making big plays. And uh, Ju and I are trying to lead them. You like that young group of freshmen? Yeah, I like them a lot. They're, uh, what do you like about them? Uh, they're very coachable. They don't, uh, they don't have the mentality that they know everything. They, uh, they take the criticism and everything, and uh, they're willing to work hard too. So this is a good characteristic. Since you've been here, you've had somewhat expectations nationally just about every year. What makes this year a little bit different? Um, we have, uh, I think there's a lot of leadership. There's a lot of guys returning, a lot of guys that have um, been playing for a while. And then uh, we're also a very talented group. And I think um, put all that together with our um, great coaching staff, I think that's, uh, that's something that's going to help us this year. A lot of people talk about Eddie McDoom's speed. How does he match up with J.U.? Who wins the race there? I'd still say J.U., but he is. He's very fast. Uh, he gets he gets moving on uh, when he's out there running routes and just uh, making plays for his teams and everything. So, But, yeah, I'd still give it to J.U. Do you have an idea who the quarterback is going to be? Jim says he knows. Uh, man, uh, if he knows, that's good. But, yeah, I have no idea. Um, one thing I can say is, like, all the quarterbacks have been playing real well. Um, that's one thing that's been easy as a receiver. Um, the ball has been there every time, and it's easy to make plays. So. Does that give you any pause at all, knowing, God, you know, it's six days before, five, six days before, we don't know who our quarterback is yet? Or do you just kind of go with the flow here? Yeah, just go, I'm, I'm mainly just going with the flow, and I'm comfortable with, like, all the quarterbacks. And I think it's good because uh, it's a long season, so I think we need to have uh, um, have. I need to have the one starter, but we also need the guy have guys that are ready to take on that role because you never know what can happen down the road. Is there anything that different, particularly this year, expectation wise, just based on the success you had last year versus your game week week one? Yeah, just build on it. You know, just uh, take it one game at a time. And then uh, I think one thing uh, we've been talking about a lot in the locker room is just staying together and then uh, not taking any team lightly, especially with all the hype around us this year. Um, teams are going to come out uh, um, and uh, give us their best. Oh, of course, players used to say that they worked so hard in practice that game day was easy. Uh, how grueling are the practices? And yeah, we uh, definitely uh, get the same way with Coach Harbaugh in the practices. Uh, yeah, um, the practices are hard, and then, uh, I mean, they're supposed to be hard. They're supposed to get us ready for the game, and then, yeah, I'm sure once the season comes, it's going to be easy. So. How much better is this program, and how much more confident are you today than one year ago today when you were going into game week? Uh, yeah, a lot more, but, uh, I mean, Try to work. The coaches try to coach us up uh, every day, and uh, little things, things we need to get better on, and then uh, things we need to keep doing. And I think uh, um, it's it's good to be confident in everything, but uh, it's going to show when we go out there on the game field. Did you watch any of the Hawaii game? Uh, last yeah, week? yep, yeah. What we were did. your initial thoughts? Kind of what you took from that. Um, it was a, it was an interesting game. It was like a lot of passes going on because Cal uh, passed the ball a lot, and then uh, Hawaii seemed like a very aggressive defense and all that. So, but yeah, so I just watched it. Uh, back in the dorm room, just uh, hanging out. So. You know, 